What's good, Taurus? TT here. We're going to be taking a look to see what's your telepathic message. Let me put my headphones on so I can hear what I'm saying. Okay, I can hear myself now. You know, sometimes I don't be know if I'm talking too loud or too low. So, um, I don't know. It's too quiet. It's too quiet. So, uh, like I said, if you guys are new, welcome. Today, we are going to be doing a telepathic message over here. We have Taurus energy over there. We have a cross watcher. Someone that's communicating with a Taurus. So, if it's not your story, let it go. If it's your story, stay for a while. Let me tell you who it's from, okay? Whoever this person is, they're manifesting you, okay? Magician energy. They are... They're tired of being single. They're tired of being alone. They're ready to date. I do feel like this may be someone. Um, you may not. You may know this person is coming towards you. Or you may know that this person is ready to meet you. It's not. Y'all are not meeting by accident. You may know that this is not happening by accident. It's divinely orchestrated at a period in your life. Especially if you were dealing with someone or this cross watcher was dealing with someone that was trying to seduce them and get them back into some type of cycle or in bed with another person. Um, those paths were being deviated. So I feel like you were being protected or this cross watcher was being protected or saved from someone else for this connection. Because someone else was coming in to change the entire course of action. Um, shift the entire energy. And like my dog is barking. And look at here. What we have here. The dog. Alright. Who let the dogs out? Okay. Really, Jupiter? Someone was trying to steal your blessings, Taurus. Um, by keeping you single. And feeling like now is never the time to settle down. Now is never the time to be in a relationship. Um, you're going to die single for the rest of your life. Something was lying to you. Um, while also distracting you. And it was on purpose. As long as you're committed to being single. And never getting out there dating. And never getting out there meeting new people. It confirms for somebody else. That you are just going to be. A sad puppy waiting on someone, never going out there to see what is out there for you. Um, but I see you going to get your groove back. Okay. If you're not an elderly, elderly woman or, or, or a man, I, I just see you getting back out there, going to parties, going to events, socializing, um, reconnecting. Is that a door? Is that a door? Yeah. Who that? Me. What you went outside for? Huh? huh? Hold on. Someone knocked on the door? I think so. Um, did, some, did you see somebody? No, they were okay. Okay, let me know first before you open the door. People be crazy outside, okay? So that could be a, a thing where you could be like real... Um, you know, protective because random shit like that happens where your dogs are talking about somebody's at the door, but nobody's at the door, stuff like that. So I feel like all of that's happening in this particular telepathic message because anytime that you tap in and you try to open your energy, it's almost as if it attracts, um, a reinforced negative self-talk or suspicion or pessimism that tells you no wait now is not the right time no wait i shouldn't do it it is the projection of a third party energy that i don't feel like is a person i feel like it's something to keep you like a chastity belt or anchored or single it's something that is has maybe been on you um since you were younger, it may have been like a, a possessive energy over you your whole life. Take it how it resonates. 
like claiming you type of energy. Always trying to like, you know, when you play like, uh, always trying to like, uh, or struggle with you. And then it's like when you try to settle down, it either affects your money or something like that. <clears throat> every time you try to be single, every time you try to be in a relationship, your your finances get affected. Uh, your routine gets affected. And so it perpetuates this thing where it's like it's the relationship that I need to stay away from. It's the connections, deep, intimate connections that I need to stay away from because I'm broken. Um, I'm never going to be able to fix this part of me. It feels like I have to choose between my career and my love life. And I don't want to do that either. And it's like my life is so much more simplistic when I just keep to myself and don't have a lot of friends. And um, it's, it's somebody meddling in your energy. Someone, what does a shepherd do? A shepherd keeps hold of all the sheep right and when the shepherd says it's time to go into the fence all the little sheep go into the into the um into the little into the little cage or the entrapment and then the dog lets them know when the sheep are trying to leave the the little entrapment okay hmm You see that? You see that imagery? You the sheep. But you are is saying to me that with faithfulness, you don't owe this you don't have to be faithful to this person. You don't have to be faithful to this energy. This energy has no control over you no matter what no matter if it's conjuring up like negative self-talk. Go ahead. Negative thinking, um, a projection. It's just an illusion. What are they going? What's it going to do? Tell you, oh, I'm going to end your life, or oh, worst case scenario, you're going to. It's just something that's contracted to talk you out of living your life till you wither away. Okay. And if you allow it, it'll take you on this whole cycle for another ten years. You have the power to send it on its way. You owe it no loyalty, whether it's a person, place, thing, or it. Um, and that goes for you, Taurus, especially if you are, you know, in that energy where it's like you would love to go out and have fun. Um, you know, but someone someone or something keeps convincing you that it's never the right time. Um, can't let you breathe. You never get to have no fun. You never get to live your life. And and then this person over here, they never get to live their life either because they're always forced to be alone. And they're tired of being alone. You know what I'm saying? The rose turned to the dark clouds, fortunes, misadventures. So yeah, these are someone someone normally would be seduced by a person. Um, they would normally like fall back into a road or a a lifestyle. But they're not going to fall back into this lifestyle. Whoever this is, it's like something is not going to work. Close the door behind you. Something ain't going to work. Um... Hold on. Everyone deserves a life outside of their responsibilities. This is spiritual spiritual advice for the both of you. It's never going to be a right time, but one of you guys have like this sweet nature. You're always overextending yourself to people that end up betraying you to find out they were never your friend ever to begin with. And then they try to keep you small and make sure that you never find anything better than them. Friends, romantic, um, your whole little circle. 
and you're always ex willing to commit and show up for people that will never show up for you the same way. This person over here, vice versa. They find themselves in situations where they go over and beyond to give love and to re recover people that don't deserve their love. Um, it's giving like pretty woman energy uh damsel energy they always go for a particular type that will never look at the nice gestures and the things that they do for people as something worth loving or caring for they view it as an expectation and this person's sick and tired of that so you guys were with spirit's message is saying there's no this is no coincidence that y'all were brought together into each other's lives at a, at a period in your life where both of you guys were sick and tired of being sick and tired. Okay. Um, so this was an, a big change that spiritually was a, a line. Y'all were brought together like this. Um, to be each other's friends. To show up for each other. To give it finally to each other and then the rest of the world wouldn't be able to use the both of you in the ways in which they've been using you. And to see where it goes from there because I feel like that's the beginning of it, right? So now they just need y'all to see eye to eye or to recognize each other or be able to identify each other. I'm sorry. I was like, what? It scared me. Okay. So I feel like Taurus, there's so much that you want to say that you haven't been able to say to this person. Um... I feel like at times you try to keep a uh, open mind or you try to keep it's like you're trying not to give away too much or come off too um too forward cuz the pentacles is saying like the 3 of pentacles is saying connection. It's like you don't want to get your hopes up um as far as like what you it's like you have your suspicions but it hasn't been confirmed for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it hasn't been confirmed for you. So I feel like you work, you continue working or you work, you just work. I'm seeing you just work and in the meantime, all you could do is just focus in on work. I feel like that's what you're meant to be doing right now anyway. And I feel like that's why you're coming off as like a... Like you're hiding something because you are holding something back. Why? Yeah, you are holding back what you would really like to say to this person. You have the moon and the sun. You haven't even told this person how you really feel about them yet because you're waiting for the right time. Clarify this. Um... Okay, you don't want to come off like you just you're just looking for sex or you don't want to you don't want to either you don't want to come off like you're just looking for a sexual good time or you don't want to come off like that's all it's about for you. It's going both ways. I do feel like there is some type of some you would like to confidently I don't think you like sitting in secrecy energy too long. It starts to like uh, fuck with your masculinity. Um, it starts to make you feel like shy and, and like you're hiding. And that energy is disempowering. So if you've been feeling like indecisive lately, it's because you are carrying, you're wearing a mask. And that mask, what y'all cooking? That mask is waning on you. It's like, you know when you wear the movie mask, he wore the mask so much to the point where that energy wanted to take completely over. You see what I'm saying? And so then it becomes like a Jekyll and Hyde type of situation where it's like, 
eventually the mask ain't gonna let you take it off because the mask gonna be like i like wearing i like wearing you yeah and i feel like spirit is pretty much saying like you you're ready like if you don't do it your shadow gonna start mess think of the movie the mask like your light and you like your real version of you is your light okay and then the mask that you wear or the, what you hide or what you don't get off your heart or your chest is like your shadow. If you wear the shadow too long, the shadow is going to say, I want to stay in this energy. We like it here. <laughs> and then you're not having a balanced, um, you're not having a balanced interaction with your shadow. You're kind of just hanging out in it. Um, and so your shadow is going to start telling you. To stay away from what it is that your heart desires because the shadow knows that you'll balance it back out. Okay, so that's kind of like that movie with Jim Carrey that I'm seeing play out here. Where it's like, you made me go want to watch that movie. Just to see what it was trying to say. <clears throat> so yeah, you're ready. You've, you've healed enough. It's not about being perfectly healed. It's about... Um, stepping out on faith when the opportunity presents itself you take it okay no one ever gets anywhere from from watching a, a pot boil or from waiting for the shoe to fall off no one ever gets anywhere when you feel that impulse to you know what I want to say this I want to I want to get to know this person I want to tell them have a heart to heart conversation with them I want to speak what's on my mind that's all the universal push that that you need and when you don't honor that universal push you're gonna feel like off and that's what i feel like here this is spirit pretty much saying like you're gonna have to like drop the the worry that you're not good enough the worry that um things have to be played out in a particular way whichever one of y'all is in that energy of like waiting for the right time and then talking yourself out of it creating more delays that's all it's doing is creating delays this is about faith taking a leap of faith i feel like you're being asked taurus to you know speak up speak from the heart and that's going to be the best way to stand up for yourself because i feel like that um your shadow is trying to make you miss an opportunity Let's get some closing messages. <clears throat> some closing messages. So we have Rod, Radha, Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship harmony and healing. And then we have M Mother Mary. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. All right, Taurus, sending you lots of love, wisdom, and guidance on your journey into the next one. Bye-bye.